Hey, LeBron, Frank said that it seemed like the ankle was okay after that. What looked like it's weak. Just want to get your perspective on it with about, what was it, six minutes left? Yeah, uh, no, that's exactly what it was. It was a, a tweak. I stepped on uh, uh, Alexander's foot on the way down after the last layup, um, but I'll be fine. How'd you feel like overall you, you came through these two games physically, uh, LeBron with now two days ahead of the plan? Uh, pretty good. I mean, for where I am right now, after uh, sitting out for, you know, as long as I did, I mean, if you take away the, the two games that I played momentarily, but uh, pretty good. Um, you know, had a lot of explosion. Um, you know, defensively, I was able to play the passing lane a few times tonight. Um, you know, get out on the break, uh, make some cuts. Uh, you know, and getting past the lane, uh, getting a transition. Uh, so, uh, came out pretty well. So, you've played more playoff minutes than any player in NBA history, but this is kind of a unique situation starting this year with the play in game. Just, what, just wondered. You know, physically, mentally, all that. What, what's your initial take on how you'll prep for it? How you'll how you'll approach it? Oh, I'll, I'll prep for it as, the same as I've always prepped for a playoff uh, matchup, because it is. Um, it's a playoff matchup between us and Golden State on on Wednesday. Familiar with a few of their guys, um, you know. But I'll prep tomorrow uh, by myself on our day off, um, and then as a team, we'll we'll lock in on what, what needs to be done, and then Wednesday we'll prep some more, and then get ready to play Wednesday night. So. Um, you know, it's a playoff game for me on Wednesday. Okay, David Benman, please. Brian, a few years back, you said that you'll take your chances no matter what seed you are in the playoffs. Uh, what's this challenge like or this situation like being number seven, the lowest seed you've ever been at the end of the uh, regular season with the chance to be in the postseason? Well, obviously this season, um, I don't look at our seeding. It doesn't matter. Um, obviously, we know we wanted to play a lot better this season, but injuries took a toll on our team. Um, but we're finally starting to get whole. Um, we're starting to feel, feel a little bit better about our situation. We ended the season on a five-game winning streak or four-game winning streak. I don't know what it is. But um, um, I look forward to the challenge. Um, it's another challenge for me in the postseason. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, Dan Mikey, please. Brian, you said you'd prep for this Warriors game like it was any other playoff game, but I mean, is it a game seven in your mind? I, I don't know if you could possibly replicate the intensity of a game seven when you haven't seen a team six other times, but with sort of the nature of this format, is that kind of your approach to it? I mean, you can't replicate, you cannot replicate a game seven, um, especially, you know, with the first game, um, you know, and uh, I've always treated game ones like a fill out game, but you obviously you don't have that, uh, you don't have that luxury in a playing game. so. Uh, you know, we just got to play to the best of our ability. We got to play Lakers basketball. We got to defend at a high rate. Uh, you know, we, we're, we're playing uh, uh, versus, in my, in my opinion, the MVP of our league this year um, and, and Steph. So, um, you know, we got to be, you know, prepared for everything that they have. They got championship DNA as well, you know, and, uh, you know, they've been there. Uh, they know what it, they, you know, they know what it takes and what it feels like to be in pressure games. So, you know, we gotta be ready for that opportunity and for that uh, for that pressure. Okay, Bill Oren. Hey, LeBron. Uh, I know that when you're kind of in the throes of competition, maybe you don't look at it this way. But what what does it mean mean to you? Maybe is the right word. But what what what, what does it mean to um, have your career intersect in a meaningful, not a series, but with Steph yet again? You guys are kind of obviously come across each other a bunch of times. And like you just said, MVP of the league, I'd be curious to know uh, if you could expound a little bit more on your thoughts on uh, why, you, why you see him as the MVP this year too. Uh, I mean, for our, for our paths to continue to cross in, in our career, it's, um, it's, it's pretty unique and it's pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, both of us being born in Northeast Ohio, uh, born in Akron. <laughs> I know he spent a lot of his time, obviously, um, in Charlotte, but, uh, you know, born in Akron and, and along with me. So we got, you know, that DNA, but, um, you know, our, 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 you know, paths have been, uh, uh, have been crossed again. And, and it's, um, you know, it's always been a respect, uh, a level of respect that's even beyond the game of basketball, um, the, the way I feel for Steph. Um, so um, that's cool. And um, I mean, we can, you know, you can look at, just look what he's done this year. I mean, there's nobody, um, everybody counting him out this year. Everybody saying that, uh, well, now that, you know, Clay, is hurt? Can Steph lead a team 
um, on his own? What is he going to be able to do? Can he carry a team on his own? Can he carry a team into the postseason? Can he keep a team afloat? Um, <clears throat> he's done that and more. Um, he's, um, I mean, I think he's has the most uh, 40 point, um, I don't know if it was 40 point games or something like that, or the most, uh, most, he got the most three point, uh, most 10, uh, 10 threes made um, in, in a season. Um, he's broke his own record for how many threes he's made this year. Um, I think he scored like 30 points in the second half of games like eight times this year or nine times this year. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know anything else. Uh, if you're looking for MVP, if, if Steph is not on Golden State's team, then um, you know what, what, what are what are we looking at? Um, you know, and we get we get all we get caught up in the record. Sometimes we get caught up in oh, okay, who's the who has the best record? And you know, instead of just saying who had the best season that year, uh, and Steph has had, in my opinion, the the best season uh, all year. Um, and it was the same, you know, when Ru when when Russ won the MVP. Um, you know, Russ was. You know, first guy to 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 have a triple double in the season since the Big O, and everyone threw the records out the window then when he won it. Um, and I think you know you look at what he's doing, Steph is just like, you know, Russ deserved it that year, and and obviously I don't think Steph is going to get it because, you know, that's another conversation. But in my eyes, um, he's played the best basketball all year round. Okay, we only have time for a couple more, so we're gonna go with Kyle Boone, please. Hey, O'Brien. Um, I have two related questions. One, you said you're gonna be fine. I was wondering if that meant that you feel some discomfort at all in your ankle, and you're just anticipating that with treatment you're gonna be fine. And then two, um, you know, you you had you've missed more games of injury this season than any season in your career. I'm just wondering, does that is that mentally? Um, hard to, to kind of tackle when you're dealing with the same ankle these last couple times you've been out? Uh, yeah, when I say I'm fine, I'm saying I'll, I'll, I'll be in the lineup on Wednesday. Um, so I look forward to that challenge. And uh, yeah, it's been hard to tackle it because, um, you know, I was playing some of the best basketball of my career before the injury and it was not, it was, it wasn't like a self-afflicted wound. It wasn't something that, uh, something that I could control. It's not like I wasn't putting in the work and then, you know, my body failed me. I literally had a, a a grown man diving at my my leg for a loose ball, and you know, and here's the injury, you know, and um, you know, so I, I had to pay the price of that and take my time, and uh, you know, get my ankle to where it is today, where I'm able to be back on the floor. But you know, it cost me seven weeks of the season, six weeks of the season, which uh, you know, I still think back on. I still hate it. I still not you know comfortable with it, or or even you know gave it. <laughs> uh, you know, much thought to it as far as like, um, you know, what, you know, what this season could have been, you know, for me personally. Um, so I, I, I've hated every moment of that, but it is what it is. And this is the time. And, uh, you know, the time is now and I'm, I'm ready for it. Okay, last question. Mark Medina, please. Well, Ron, good to see you. Um, to follow more on Steph, just knowing that you had that kind of rival where, you know, you faced off for multiple championships, how do you think that, Unaffected uh, and shaped your journey and what that meant to you overall. I mean, every um, I don't know. I mean, I've had like three. I guess you can look at my 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 career like the Godfather trilogy. It's been literally like a three part, uh, you know, movie. You go the first seven years and then the next seven years and then three. You know, I got a couple more years. Then you go to final seven years. It's literally like the Godfather trilogy, to be honest. So um, every every uh, every obstacle that I've had, every um, challenge that I've had, every moment that I've had has shaped me to who I am today. In year eighteen, and uh, you know, you know, having a rival that that we had with Golden State, uh, and those years when we played them four straight times in the finals, uh, shaped a part of my career. Um, you know, so I mean, I've I've had some battles versus a lot of greats. I mean. Um, you look at three of the, the greatest players that ever to play the game just went to the Hall of Fame and I had battles with all three of them. Um, obviously, my battles with, with, with Timmy in the finals, uh, my battles with KG in the East, 
um, trying to get to the finals. Um, and, and obviously my battles um, in the regular season with Kobe every time we play in our two games per year. Um, and so, you know, I, I've had a lot of uh, uh, a lot of battles and a lot of things that's uh, shaped me to who I am today. And uh, and I appreciate it. And I've not taken any one of those moments for granted.